Hello, welcome to Cashflow. Today we're going to show you how to record payments within the system. So various ways to record payments. Firstly, we are going to go into our invoice screen. So to record a payment against an invoice, all we would need to do is click into the invoice itself. And then down on the bottom right hand side, we have a button to add a payment. If we click in here, we can see that it's brought through the date. All we need to do is key in the amount, and this is keying in the full amount, um, but we can re-key in so we can part pay invoices. We can choose the account that it's gone into, so the payment's gone into my current account, and the payment method, so the client paid me and how they, however they would have paid me, and then I can record a note um, against this as well. All I would need to do then is just click the save button, and that will then record that as saved and we can now see under the payment section that that invoice is now stored as paid all the details are on here and at the top the status has been switched to paid so now if I go back to the invoice screen we can now see that status it was paid another way to record a payment against an invoice if we click in we see on the right hand side that we have the option to take a card payment so effectively do have the ability to take credit card payments directly through cash flow and this is something you were looking to do then you can choose which provider you want to work with I can just click into this invoice put in the amount that they're paying me put in their card details over the phone put in the CVV and the expiry bring through their address details and take a payment and that will take a direct payment and um, directly from the card so there are two ways to record uh, payments directly against an invoice. Another way to do it, if we are importing our bank transactions using the CSV importer, then we can actually allocate those payments directly against invoices from the bank module. So all we would do, we would go to the settings menu, and if I scroll down I can go to the import data, import CSV files, put in my username and password and click login. I'm importing bank transactions so I can just click next and go to browse and then all I'm doing I'm just going to my CSV import from my bank uploading and this is going to bring in and it's bringing in my payment on account and my first row contains my column heading so it's going to import that information uh, directly in so if I click import now that has been successful and that's imported my bank transaction so now if I go back into cash flow and go through to my bank click into my current account I can now see that import has come in and the comment line is for payment or for invoice number 105 on the right hand side we have a little tip box I can now tick into this and then I have the ability to go and assign that payment directly against an invoice if I click on this it's gonna match the paid in amount against the invoice number. If you had multiple invoices for the same amount, you can actually click into that and choose the relevant invoice number that it's for. We can choose the payment method, how the client actually paid me, and then we can just click assign payments. That's now been assigned, so we can see on the left hand side here that that's actually gone to the customer account code and that's been allocated. And if we click back into our invoice screen, we will now see that invoice number 105 has actually been cleared off as paid. So we can see that's been cleared off. So that's on both sides of the transactions. If we click into purchases, we can assign payments exactly the same within purchases. So I can just go add a payment against the purchase invoice. I record that payment, I can say exactly the payment method of how I paid it, and then I can save that and record it as paid. And from the bank area, we also have the ability to create new purchase invoices or we can assign transactions directly against purchases as well. So that's how easy it is to assign payments within Cashflow.